two, one, recording. And so, welcome to Blue Pencil Comedy at our first open mic of 2021. Welcome back, old friends. Welcome, new friends. Um, one of our one of our guests today, uh, uh, this person right here, is my mother, and she and my dad are watching in the same house that I'm in right now. They're just in in the downstairs, and I'm on the upstairs. Um, let me see if I can pin myself. There we go. I'm pinned on my own screen now, so I so when I'm going, uh, I can be the center of attention, like I like. And so uh, we have, uh, I'll be the host for you this evening, Matthew Cannell. It's nice to see all of you. And um, I, I, I have been, uh, I just came to my parents' house again, back home for, uh, for a, couple, a couple days. And uh, uh, I've been, you know, going back through some stuff from, from childhood, some, some stuff that's around the house. My parents are, are uh, real big at having uh, like like pictures of me as a kid and some artworks and stuff all, all up around the house on the walls. And I, I noticed something that I have here for, for you today that I think very strongly uh, indicates kind of the difference between um, my sister as a person and me. So my sister, she's, uh, she's, she's, got a lot of, she's got a lot of her life together. She's got like a job. She's going to law school. She's, she's got a house and a wife and it's a whole like she she seems like she's really put together, and this is an art project that she did um, in in I think middle school. This is a nice like it's a nice little mask. Everybody was doing little masks, and she made you know I think it's pre pretty elegant. Um, and I think later in high school she did another class, and this is the other mask that she made. Like look at that, look at the look at the detail on that. That's beautiful. And then there's the one that I made when I was the same age as her. And it's horrible. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Emily, you're an artist. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I, this That's is <laughs> like, okay, just for, for one, I didn't do it very well. And then I realized that and just added a bunch of extra stuff because I thought it would make it better. And oh, that wow. was the problem. And the, like another thing, this one, it's got a little hole like right in the, in the top there so you can nail it to the wall. This one doesn't hang up unless you nail something through this guy's eyes. Like, and that seems like the right thing to do. It is, <laughs> it, it was just, I saw this and I remembered like, this is just, I think it's just the perfect representation. And I just, you know, I mean, comedy, like she's in law school, comedy, it's great. Um, but but despite uh, despite being in comedy, um, I feel like I'm not good at like real jokes. Like if you if you know if you ever tell any of your friends or anything that you do stand up comedy, a lot of the time you know they'll ask you to tell a joke. And I mean a lot of you know any any person who does comedy, you ask about that. It's you know it's 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 putting them on the spot. They're not in like a situation usually where they're they have the control to actually do the joke the way they want. Um, but I decided to try one when somebody asked, it was a birthday party and somebody asked me to tell a joke and I made one up and I said, how many birthdays does it take to drink? 21. And then I made a funny face and then I ran away <laughs> because I'm not good at jokes or improv. And so, I mean, I, I, I think like what, what, instead of like real, like good setup punchline jokes, I feel like what, what I think is really funny, just, in my core is like weird arrangements of words. It's almost like, like a puzzle being put together of the words that are in front of you. And, and I think some, like, I'll just hear people say things and it's just, it seems like the, the world suddenly has an order because of the way they said this thing. And that's what I think is funny. And so I'd like to share with all of you some of these things that I've heard. And if they're not funny, I'll tell a joke that I wrote after that. And so for that reason, you know, maybe none of this will be funny. Maybe other people will be funny and maybe I'll be funny. We'll see. Um, and so, or maybe we will all be funny, I think is the fourth option there, but that's unlikely. Um, okay. So uh, the first one was uh, I was with a roommate back uh, last year and he really liked LaCroix, you know, the nothing flavored water, like the, the, the fizzy, 
liquid. Um, are you, is that a LaCroix? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, but it doesn't taste like much is what I, what I would say. <laughs> um, but he, he was just kind of walking around our collective room, uh, a big TV room and everything. And he walked up to a box and he said, this LaCroix, it used to be called Cran Raspberry. Now it's called Raz Cranberry. Do you think they changed anything? And he just asked the world. He wasn't talking to any of us. And for like, I, I had to go to my room because it like hit me somewhere deep inside. If Cran Raspberry and Raz Cranberry could potentially be different drinks. And I don't think, I don't think anybody else thought that was funny except for me. So I'd like, so, so, okay, take a vote. Is that, is that a good, is that funny? Or should I tell a, a joke that I wrote? Because, all right, I'll tell a joke. I'll tell a joke. So uh, the joke is, let me read it off this, this right here. Um, uh, hindsight is 25, 25, no wait, it's 2020. I realized that after I said it. Bam, jokes. Get it? Funny. <laughs> That's um, better. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so, okay, another thing. And I heard somebody say that I, I think like the, just like the, the puzzle of the words I thought was funny was um, another roommate. Uh, he said that uh, at one point people were coming to our house trying to buy weed. We didn't have any. And I think our next door neighbors had some or something, um, but we wanted to put up a sign on our door that says uh, we don't sell weed here. And he, he said, you know, that, that sentence is different based on which word you underline. And all five of them could be underlined and they'd be different. We don't sell weed here. 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 And we don't sell weed here. Those are all very different sentences that have very different meanings and they could work for any of them. Is that funny? Or should I tell a joke? Cause I'm gonna tell a joke. That's funny. No, you should like, instead of saying, I have friends that, like, that get high all the time on weed, you should say, I don't want to. I mean, I, th this is real life though. I can't just make stuff up. Um, right. All right, so uh, uh, the, my joke show. that I wrote is like, you know, the survival um, classification, you can say, you know, you can survive like three weeks without food, three days without water, like three hours without shelter, three minutes without air, you can survive three seconds if you mess with me, punk. Like, that's pretty good, right? Like, that's funny. Thank you. Um, <laughs> some other really hilarious things I've just heard people say in the world. Um, I was walking down Union Street and the guy said to me, um, I just dumpster dove this jar of pickles. Do you want some? And that was really good. Um, a kid was riding by on a bike and said, dad, are you good at making peas? And that was really good. Um, because how can you be bad at that? And, um, I think, I think that's, that's all I got. The world is funnier than I am. And that's, that's what I have to say. <laughs> the world is funnier than I am. I'm Matthew Cannell. And thank you for your time. Um, if our next performer is available and got their internet all working, then um, would you please so. welcome uh, Shona Young, very funny person. Come on up to the microphone. Woo. Hello. Can everybody hear me? And is my video frozen? You're no. good. Yes and no. Cool. So yes and okay, first, it took me a second. <laughs> So I just ran to the other room to get my phone, which means that my heart is beating very fast because I went very fast. Take your time. Do you, okay. want to, do you want to do a banter for a little bit, and we can? Well, I was gonna I was gonna share a quote that I'd heard um, to sort of build off of yours. Um, I did a camp sort of thing with a few friends a few years ago, and we were walking back to camp from like battles or whatever we were doing that day, and. We passed this group of men and we heard the first part of their conversation, the first part of the line that they said. And one of them said, that is so sad. That is not the way I'd like to go. And we were very concerned. And then my friend's dad who was walking behind us started laughing and we said, what? And he explained that the way that the sentence had gone in its entirety was, that is so sad. That is not the way I'd like to go. Drowning in a urinal. 
And that is one that has really stuck with me. <laughs> it just like, it was the right amount of upsetting. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to my notes and breathe. This is a story that happened in October, but I'm going to tell it as though it happened this week, just to make it fresh. But it continues to be probably the funniest thing that's happened to me in lockdown. A low bar, but cleared it with ease. <sighs> Last Friday, I decided to order some shampoo and conditioner online, as one does, because sometimes you just want your hair to be healthy and smell good and all that great stuff. So as I do with pretty much everything I do, I put it off until the last minute and my family was rushing to go do something. And so I sat down and ordered this. Because I was in a rush, I did not have time to do the same level of research and price comparison that I usually do in order to make sure I'm not like overpaying for something. Um, so I ordered it and then I started thinking about what a big mistake that had been. But it arrived today in a box this big, <laughs> which I'm not sure if you've ever seen a bottle of shampoo or a bottle of conditioner or both at once, but this is entirely too large for either of those things to fit in reasonably, um, but it had my name on it. So while it seemed weird, I wasn't gonna argue. Things that are strange happen in the world all the time. So I brought it in, I opened it up. And first, all I see is like packing materials. So you're gonna, you're gonna hear some fun packing noises. Um, so I pull out all this stuff. And I look in there and I see the shampoo and the conditioner just lie in there. That was what I needed. So I take it up, put it aside and I'm like, well, there's other stuff in here. And there are three of these cylinders wrapped in brown paper that's like weirdly perforated. And I'm like, well, this is the wrong shape to be more shampoo and conditioner. That's not what this is. What the fuck? And I put it, I don't know how to do this in a way where you can see. So let's just move back. Magic of headphones. So I unroll it. I'm like, huh. So in the first cylinder, was 25 ounces of tomato basil sauce. <laughs> so I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, that's odd. Like, I did not order tomato basil <laughs> sauce, but I'm not really gonna argue, because I, I overpaid. So what I'm getting is really a bonus. Um, <laughs> I don't, I still don't know why this happened, but apparently this is a very common glitch in the system. Um, <laughs> but there are two more little cylinders here. And take out the second one and I unroll it. And it is yet another 25 ounce jar of <laughs> tomato basil sauce. And at this point, that's 50 fluid ounces of tomato basil sauce. <laughs> And that is a lot of pasta. Like, think about how much that is. I'm like, that's weird, but my family will use it. That's fine. But there's still another roll in there. So I take that one out. I'm like, well, I don't know what this could possibly be. <laughs> and I unroll it. Sure enough, it is the third 25 fluid ounce <laughs> jar of tomato basil sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so just to recap real quick, in total, that is 75 fluid ounces of tomato basil sauce, <laughs> along with what I ordered, which was a total of 32 fluid ounces of hair product. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not really sure what to do at this point, which I'm not sure anyone would know exactly what to do in this situation. Um, 
but you get a box this big and it's got to be full of some crazy shit. Um, <laughs> so I put all this stuff to the side and I pull up my computer and I start researching all of this stuff. And I had overpaid by about $12. I was looking at the pricing for this fun little jar of tomato basil sauce. <laughs> and on their website, I found that a jar this size typically goes for about $3.80 to $8 per jar. Cool. So at worst, I it was about $11 that they gave me for free, except in, you know, sauce form. And at <laughs> best, that's $24 of tomato basil sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and call that one a net gain. <laughs> it's out of my hands or I guess in my hands um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's my fun story oh thank you Shona that is wonderful that <laughs> I think it's really funny you have like twice as much sauce as product that you well over twice as much. And another, a, another question, have you used any of the sauce? It's been since October. Um, yeah. I told my mom not to use any so that I could do the bit, but oh, yeah. um, she thought that I must have done it already. So we actually now only have 50 fluid ounces of sauce, <laughs> <laughs> which is still a lot, but I only used one, so it's okay. It's going to good use. It's going to good use then. Yeah. It's good sauce. It is. All right. It's apparently very expensive. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Thank you, Shona. And a round of applause. Here we go. And thank you all for coming to coming to watch. Um, Blue Pencil, we try to do shows every couple weeks on Zoom on Saturdays. Um, and we'll definitely let you guys know next time we're doing anything like that. Uh, similarly, we do meetings every week, Monday and Wednesday at six o'clock on a Zoom meeting. And uh, you know, if any, any OU students or anybody like that, you wanna come on and come into the meetings, you can just, you can pitch jokes, you can just talk, we have a good time. So, uh, and if you, if you want, I'll send you some details about that Zoom meeting. Thank you everybody for coming. I hope that you're all having a good, uh, a good February and a good 2021 school year and year and everything like that. And uh, thank you all, I hope everybody's doing well. Play me out. Ryan, da, 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 da. gotta end the recording.